Hey, do you remember when we were conversating yesterday about systemic inequality in this country? Yeah, but I think you mean conversing, not conversating. Come on, that's part of what I'm talking about. You don't have to correct people on those kinds of things. You knew what I meant. That could be considered a microaggression, you know. Why would it be wrong to correct your grammar? It was just a little mistake, and now you know the right word. I wasn't trying to insult you or anything. Yeah, but when you correct someone's language, you're still setting yourself up as a judge of what is right and what is wrong. You're saying that your version of English is more legitimate than mine. And that can be really judgmental, especially to minorities. This kind of grammar snobbery is intolerant and can even at times be racist. I'm sure that people can be condescending when they correct grammar. I've seen it myself. But I'm just saying it's not inherently prejudiced to help someone out by correcting their use of a phrase, their sentence structure, their spelling of a word, or whatever. It's true that language is contextual, and it would be very strange to try and correct people's grammar all the time, especially when talking to someone who is just learning the language. You wouldn't get anywhere in a conversation if you didn't let a lot of the mistakes slide. But, on the other hand, imagine if someone who was learning English as a second language never had any of their mistakes corrected they would have a really hard time learning English in a way that could effectively communicate with native speakers. Well, what about people who are native speakers but just speak a dialect of English that's less traditional or academic? It's oppressing when their papers and their essays that they turn in for class are corrected if it's standard American English. Well, I love hearing a lot of the different ways that people speak English around the world, but I think that since language is contextual, the prevailing context should be taken into account when speaking. It's not an insult if someone in England corrects a visiting American who asks for jelly on toast. In England, jelly means a sweet gelatin, basically like jello in the States, so it's better to ask for jam to go with your toast. Although these days so many people watch American TV or have American friends that they'll probably know what you mean even if you say jelly, but you get my point. The same goes for universities. In an academic setting, which is what college presumably is, it should be customary and not taken as insulting when grammar is corrected on papers that are turned in for class. The professor is there to help people learn and grow. It's not a bad thing.